tell me why you look at uh, photos of airplanes. Is that just for fun? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, fun. It's my favorite thing to do. Is it really? Oh, this is my favorite thing to do. Just being on a jet and being on an airplane and uh, for three or four hours, especially like this length of a flight. Uh, I actually really like the eight hour ones all by myself. Or if I'm with the kids, they go to sleep and then it's peaceful up here, dude. There's nothing up here. You can uh, kind of just escape into your uh, own space. And look, I mean, look, you know, uh, you get a different perspective. Uh, makes me realize how small I am. So I'm convinced that, uh, like, you went and bought this book, right? Like, we don't, I don't do it. I have done a lot of this, but I should do more. Uh, every time I'm up here, one, it gives me a perspective reading these magazines, how much there is on the planet. I mean, really, how much there is. The places in the world to go to. Uh, I like looking at other people's lives, the way they think, and... Um, their accomplishments and what was important to them. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's just a very favorite thing of mine to uh, fly without the hassle. Feel very free here. Huh. Very free. Um, Is it where you feel most free? Do you feel most uh, free I here? I feel very free here. There's something about how, uh, you know, large everything is. Yet, yeah, really, it's really small, right? Look, we're 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 um, seven miles above the Earth right now, and can only get to about fifty-one thousand feet. So we could only go another maybe eight miles max. Um, you know, the oxygen up here is different; it's thinner, and. Uh, you know, like I see a plane coming right against us right now. And when you see an airplane flying against you, you realize what a thousand miles an hour looks like. But when you're in this plane, it's not really, there is no sense of relativity. It also, most people think this is really stupid, a waste of money. But in many ways, it's a, uh, it's about the only like massive luxury thing I give to myself. Like my last gig, I was paid in uh, at the fraud company. I didn't take a salary. I, like my deal was, hey, if the company's profitable, we're gonna we're gonna charge the company against the the air travel against it. It was it was my way of doing more, and, while keeping a smile on my face. Now it ended up still wrecking a, mar a marriage and a family, but I would never have done that many hours. There's no way I would have been able to get that much done. Um, and, and quite frankly, the only, hell, I'm only going to give the money to the government anyway. So it's just really me making a decision that I probably wouldn't have gone to this show. If I had to get on a commercial flight, dude, I wouldn't go to this. I might go across the world with my kids, but I'm not going to go for four hours, stand in line for two hours. Two hours there, two hours back, four hours standing in line it just seems like really a messy uh, use of time four hours to go two hours four hours to go four hours four hours to go and come eight hours dude that's a waste of time and i had a bad experience at an airport once so i realized just because you buy a first class ticket on an airline in america i learned uh when tsa became really really prominent in the airports who was actually running the show oops one time I was told after a million miles with United that me and my kids, that I couldn't get on the plane. She didn't like my attitude. 20 or 30 witnesses, very height of me too. And I did have a bad attitude, believe me. i just gotten out of a surgery in Houston. They told me I couldn't get on a plane. The following Tuesday, I showed up in Tampa to fly to Boston on the same airline because I already booked it. And the guy's holding his first class ticket. He came around to the the ticketing agents. And this has never happened to me before. And he said, uh, Mr. Cardone, holding the ticket. I said, yes, dear boy, what can I do for your little wife? And he said, are we gonna have a problem today? And I was like, 
seriously do. You get to decide whether we're going to have a problem right now. I never got back on United. I will never step my foot on a United Airlines Continental flight. That's what they do with people that never negotiated with them one penny on rates. I didn't go do the old bonus miles. I never did that. Probably traveled 20 years. God, dude, can't teach, treat me that way. It's ridiculous. It was one thing that people making a mistake in Houston. The whole different thing than carrying through it on Monday in Tampa. That means there's communication. I did nothing that would alert someone to like, oh, wow, this guy's all of a sudden after a million miles became a terrorist. Like, no, no chance, dude. Like, there's got to be more than one red flag, okay? It's ridiculous. What irritated me the most, though, was the policeman and continental management left it up to a TSA person, the lowest person in the food chain, as to whether I would get on the plane or not, even though she wasn't even traveling on that plane. So this is this is 10 years ago, okay? It's gotten worse since then. America's getting ready to get its ass kicked, and we're going to learn how sensitivities and snowflake shit falls right out the window, okay? Watch what happens when you're in a food line or you're hustling and nobody gives a toss about what they call you or don't call you. Hey, you think it's interesting that uh, no one's talking about the bulletproof uh, containers around uh, Trump now at the last speech? Yeah, why do you think no one's talking about that? I find that interesting, right? Guy goes from nothing to when the Pope did it, it was a big deal. Yeah. Big deal. So you guys can't wipe my mind out. You can't make me forget what used to be like. But I find it amazing at the highest conflict point of our lives, after four weeks after an incident no one is talking about, as if it didn't even happen. Now we have a man who's in behind a bulletproof uh, glass container and no one's saying a word about it. Can't wait to see how, uh, what's her name comes out. Does she come out with one too? Yeah, Kamala. Yeah. Does Kamala come out with one? No, she so, don't need one. Yeah. So, uh, I find that interesting. I know it's not a segue, but this has been one of the problems for me with uh, being public is the way my mind works is very, like, very weird. Anyway, I bounce around a lot of different subjects. I don't think it's uh, all this ADHD stuff, all this. I, I'm like, I don't think it has anything to do with that. I just think I have uh, I bounce around thoughts from time to time. I think it's all connected, but it, it, there's always a theme. Yeah. So you have a theme, but then there's just multiple topics within the theme yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. Well, like like the bulletproof thing, I, I just think that's a big thing, right? I'm like, wow. Nobody's talking about that. Sad that we need that, but totally understand. I would do it if I were him. I don't know how we can't have an event in the next 88 days, though.